All right, first of all, you got a smile on your face, so I guess you're feeling all right. How's the ankle? It, uh, it's a little sore, but it's nothing to be extremely concerned about. Just taking it light today, be ready to go full speed probably tomorrow, and definitely on Thursday, ready to go. Seems like 100 years ago when you guys played in the finals last year, and you waited all this time to get back to the postseason. Maybe not exactly where you want to be seed-wise, but you still have to go out there and win ball games. That's what everybody has to do. Yeah, that's what we have to do. Um, we definitely have our work cut out for us. I think last year, you know, obviously we got the number one seed last year going into the playoffs. This year it's a little different, but hopefully our experience can lend um, us a helping hand this year. Uh, we've got to win win games on the road, but I think that we've done that in the regular season. We've won up at New York and we've won at some tough environments. So hopefully the regular season and the finals experience last year has prepared us for what we're about to go through. Do you put it last year behind you or do you come in here saying with a swagger saying, hey, we're the defending champs, you have to take this away from us? I think that we should go in with a, a bit of confidence, um, not arrogance, but confidence. Confidence and uh, knowing that we're going to be prepared, knowing our game plan. And again, like you said, we're the um, defending Eastern Conference champions, so we should be confident in what we do. We know we have a target on our back, but we need to go out and uh, be assertive and aggressive. Do you wish you had the old playoff format now, knowing you would have had the first game here? Okay, knowing that we were going to have that uh, the three seed, yeah, it would have been nice to, to have that old format back. But you know what? Um, hey, it's it's what it is. Uh, we're going to do the best that we can. Obviously, everybody knows that the first game is extremely important in a three-game series. So um, we're going to get prepared this week and be ready to go on Thursday. Is it a tremendous change in preparation it's from the years past? I don't think so. I think, um, you know, a lot of the, the WNBA is, is mental and psychological. So I think that, um, you know, we really just need to focus in on some some, uh, some points that are going to hopefully uh, exploit New York and uh, hopefully make some, some adjustments um, when we played up there a few days ago. And, and uh, hopefully those adjustments and, and the things that we focus on are, are really going to uh, help us win the series. The three, game, sorry, the three game losing streak. You guys are obviously a concern, but is it a concern to the point where now you guys go into the playoffs, wipe the slate clean, it's over, when done with, forget about it and move on? I think that we we have going to try to forget about it because I think we have enough veterans to know that um, that game last night, yeah, it was fan appreciation night. We would have liked to have won and, uh, just as far as a confidence thing, but I think at the same time we understand uh, what's at stake in the playoffs. Um, the intensity, everything is just so much more intensified and magnified. So I think that, um, you know, even though we didn't go in uh, the playoffs with, with the best, um, you know, record 0-3 in the last, I think that we can, we have enough people that understand um, what's at stake and we can erase that and uh, have a short-term memory and be ready to go on Thursday for a new season. You know, it's kind of like we've just forgotten about what happened, um, you know, in the regular season. It's it's a fresh feeling going into today's practice, and we just revised a few of our defensive techniques, going back to the basics, back to the you know the fundamental footwork techniques that we've been lapsing on every now and then during the game. So it's it was a good short sharp session today. We asked uh, Katie about this. You can't rest on what you've done in the past, but is there a sense of hey, we are the defending champs in the East, and you have to take this away from us? It's ours to, to win again. Oh, for sure. I mean, the, I guess the positive for us is that they have not had our A game, um, and so you know they've. They've played well. We'll give give them credit for the way that they've played. But you know they've played against a probably a C C plus C minus uh, Indiana Fever. So that's you know we're optimistic about you know we throw our A game A plus game at them that they can't handle it. Do you, you play all year to get back to this point to get to the postseason? I know it, the regular season didn't end necessarily the way you want to, but you guys are defending champs, and it has to go through you to get back to the promised land. Well, and I think that's something we need to stay focused on. We did win 21 games. You know we did have a very good season. I think we. Were a little frustrated that down the stretch there on that road trip we didn't win a game or two uh, but now we're refocusing on the second season the first season's over we're in the playoffs with the, with the third seed um, had a chance the last day of the, of the season to maybe even still be the first seed so it's that type of season very competitive uh, we're focusing on preparing for New York we know they're very good we've beaten them here we've beaten them there vice versa we split two and two so we have confidence playing up there um, we just need to make sure we take our A game and are, are ready to defend at a very high level and knock down our open shots. You draw some comments also from the fact that you have a veteran team both overseas and here. They're used to playing in the postseason. They know what that next level needs to be. Well, I draw a lot of uh, encouragement from the fact that we went on the road last year. You know, it, we kind of stopped, even though we were the one seed, we started on the road. So uh, we know what it's like. We know what the playoffs are like. We've got veterans that have not only won an Eastern Conference championship, but we've got Tully who's won a WNBA championship. So they have experience. They know what it takes. Uh, 
tone. They know how to set the tone, and I think they know the sense of urgency that goes with the playoffs. Everything's heightened. Every possession matters. You know, there's no tomorrow. So you have to play with a high level of intensity that maybe at times you couldn't sustain the entire season. So they, they know what it takes.